Okay guys, so this is all the molds of all the pieces for the ray gun. From the main body to the... should really loosen that so it's a bit easier. Um, from the body to all the smaller pieces. Now, for the uh, sights, um, I've done and a few some testing. Some of these really old dodgy molds that I just really needed to make for testing. I created an extra... Um, this will be the sight for it. And I did a test in Digger's Clear Resin, which is not the best, but um, gives me a basic understanding of uh, what it'll sort of look like. So what I have done is in this part, I'm going to cut out a trench like I... So in this part, I'm going to cut out a trench like that, so the LEDs are going to be sitting in there. And since this part is clear, I'll actually be hiding LEDs under these black parts. So there's going to be three LEDs and one at the bottom. So it hopefully will illuminate the whole area since the SMD LEDs almost have a 180 degree um, viewing angle. So really it's going to illuminate the whole thing, which is going to be awesome. So that's basically how the front sights will sort of look a little bit. Let's get it lined up. Uh, but so far it's been all going well. Uh, most of the parts um, have been, well, the main body has been casted, as you've seen in my previous video. And um, I'm currently working on fitting all the electronics that are going to be going into this area. Um, and yeah, so what we've got here, this is the speaker. This is where the um, speaker will go. Um, I even put the four screw holes so it fits in flush with the bottom. Um, then I've got the power um, in um, slots for the uh, two switches that will be going there. And the rest is just clean up work. Um, so right now all I have to do is cast the rest of the pieces. I've got everything from the magazine. I'm actually going to cast a few rather than one per ray gun. I'm going to cast maybe two or something and um, experiment uh, with a few things. But yeah, so far it's going well. Um, hopefully I can get it finished in time. It looks like I will if I can get the paints. But still one of those things I'm still testing out. I've been working with a few range of paints and a few different types of blacks. Um, I decided to use these visors because they're made out of polyurethane, which is the same stuff that the gun will be made out of. Um, I decided I will not be going with this colour, it's too much of a red. If you look at the ray gun enough, you'll realise it's sort of like a, uh, almost like a peach colour um, in the brightest parts. Um, so I'll be getting a certain paint to experiment with, it's called Russian Marker Red, uh, Model Masters Testers Paint. And I'll be weathering it to like this, so it will almost have this similar finish. Yeah, so you can see it's like gritty, sort of um, weathered. Um, and yeah, also been experimenting with a few different sorts of uh, how it would be the metal, the black sort of metal that's on the ray gun. Um, so I'm really liking that, preferably over this. This looks a bit too shiny for me. Um, prefer this metallic. This was a gun metal. Then I airbrushed a uh, acrylic paint, black, very lightly. And then I did a, another slight um, layer of gun metal. And then I did another, uh, well, sealer to seal it all in. So um, that looks like the finish that I'm going to get. Gives me sort of like this metallic color that I really like. So that looks like it's going to be the main part of the ray gun. Uh, so far as for illumination and everything, all, everything's been sorted out. I've got all the um, switches and everything for it. So it's just a matter of getting it casted, fitting the electronics, and then off to painting. And then from painting, assembling. So I've only got what, about five weeks um, till it comes out. So going to be close but I can do it so I'll catch you guys uh, well soon with an update